This video shows how I'm going to change the barrel in a Eurostar lock which is on my uh, front PVC door. You don't need to pay expensive call out fees for a locksmith. These are the only tools that you need. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is put a key in the lock and it's in the open position. Okay, open the door. You see where the lock is underneath that here is the locator screw which keeps this lock barrel mechanism in and I'm going to unscrew that I'm going to get that right out There we are, and now that will allow the barrel to slide, it should do, there we are, once I've got the key located, there we go, and now we're out. The reason I had a bit of trouble getting this out is, as you see, as you turn the key, this moves, and you need to line it up. So that was just slightly out of, out of line. And it's at a bit of an angle, the key to get it straight. So now I've got my lock out, I can measure what type of lock barrel I need to replace this one with. I'm guessing looking at these pins underneath that this is what they call a five pin lock. Don't lose this bolt, whatever you do, because it's easy to use this one to put your uh, lock and secure it back in. The next job is uh, measuring this lock to work out what sort of lock I need. And you'll notice that this lock is 90 millimeters. So it's a 90 lock. And you'll notice it's 40 one way to the hole that secures it. And then it's 50 on the other side. So this tells me that I need a 90 40 stroke 50 uh, lock to replace this one with and because it's brass I'm going to go for the uh, the polished brass version of the lock okay I'm now going to put this old lock back in and locate it so that I can go out to the shop and buy the new lock Okay, so this is the uh, product I've bought to uh, replace the barrel. It's, uh, it's a Yale one-star cylinder with a 10-year guarantee. Okay, here it is. Uh, it comes with three keys and it actually came with uh, two bolts as well. If they don't fit the exact sort of length, I'll just use the old one. This one looks like it's a six pin instead of five pin, which I'm guessing is better. Okay, this bolt underneath is the old bolt, which you can see is longer than the other bolt, which is the longest bolt that came with that lock. So to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna use the old bolt. Okay, so here's the new lock with the key in. And the 40 portion goes at the back and the 50 at the front. So I'll just locate that. In just lining up inside there you probably can't see just put the flash on and you can see that just line that up and then pop your screw in, your bolt in I just located the bolt tighten that there we are that's the job done so shut the door That was a good one, locked. Happy days.